What up, everybody? This is Chrissy Light, and tonight we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 beta overall feels and thoughts of the game after playing it this weekend. So pretty much I'm just going to go on a, a, sh a quick little rant about what I thought about the game. Kind of like a light review Bullseye. and future of kind of like state of, the, state of the game, state of the Call of Duty uh, type video. Maybe like a, it, it, it may drift off into that type of video, but right now let's just get right into it on my initial thoughts of the game. So uh, this weekend uh, they released the open beta f for free on uh, PlayStation 4 and I hope you all got to try it out and if you didn't uh, don't worry I got you um, overall after playing it on the weekend it was very laggy but then once all the servers cleared up and um, every everything went was going smoothly overall th the game was running really good and uh, it felt the, it felt the same as all the other Call of Duty's uh, naturally but somehow f somehow for me I think it it, it felt really good. It, it felt really satisfying to uh, play with the new stuff that they thrown into the game. And um, so let's just get right into it. Um, gameplay wise, uh, I think it's better than Advanced Warfare. It's slower, but it's slower than Advanced Warfare, as in it's not as twitchy, it's not as fast. Everyone's not jetpacking at lightning speeds, as in, uh, in Advanced Warfare. But everyone still has jetpacks. You can still run across the walls. You still have. Um, you can still like jetpack slide and jetpack uh, onto stuff, and you can even like teleport. Uh, uh, it's not really a teleport, but I think it's like a rewind, which is really awesome. I couldn't figure out how to do that, but um, if you play the beta, you, if you could tell me, that'd be awesome. Uh, but pretty much all the movement in the game was really good. It's just not as fast as uh, Advanced Warfare. For me personally, I thought it fit better for the game, and I thought it it felt better overall. Um, but the main thing that changed in uh, Call of Duty from in Black Ops 3 is the specialist. So as you can see right here, uh, after you get a, a certain amount of kills or kind of accumulate an amount of points within the game, you get uh, you can use your specialist ability, and your specialist is pretty much just the character you pick. So normally everyone has their own loadouts and their own like their guns, their perks, all that stuff that they pick. But now you get to pick a specialist, which is just like a character that goes along with your loadout. And after you get a certain amount of points, you get to get this mini kill streak, and you get to use like a specialist ability or like a specialist weapon. So for me, I picked the Hawkeye chick, and she has this bow and arrow that um is explosive. Like as soon as it hits you, it explodes, and your body goes and, like all the, your body explodes, and your guts fall out everywhere. It feels really satisfying to get a kill with this gun, uh, this bow and arrow. And even if it misses, it can it can slow you down, kind of disorient you disorient you I think and uh, there's multiple there's multiple specialists I think there's about nine in the game right now and you can start out with like five at level one but um uh, like right here uh, I believe right here oh uh, you get you, you get a peek at another one because I'm like oh he died I'm like, oh, never mind. right there's the, the Hulk smash perk or uh, specialist uh, you're gonna see it uh, in the uh, true kill count later on but so for me there's a Hawkeye chick uh, she has a bow and arrow, crossbow, it owns, it has like seven shots, and you can really go on a rampage with it. Uh, if, if you're good at sniping, you'd be good with this thing. Um, and then you have the Hulk smash guy, he has two lightning blades, and you just smash the ground, instantly kills everyone around him. And then you also have like Thor, who, who like has this, <laughs> I'm just naming Marvel characters now, but pretty much this guy has this pulse rifle that you shoot him, and it like traps you in lightning, and, and it's also insta-kill. So pretty much all the specialist abilities seem like they're insta kills, if they're weapons. I'm not sure if there's if they have other abilities, because like I said, I'm not sure about this rewind ability. But overall, the specialist really added a new dynamic to the game, and it felt really good, and like really satisfying. I really like the Hawkeye chick, and um, yeah, honestly, this the specialist component really made me keep playing uh, Black Ops 3. Uh, the weapons. Weapons felt good, grenades, blah, 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 blah. They all were the same. Weap there, there really wasn't an overpowered weapon I felt. I didn't really unlock any a lot of the kill streaks. At least I didn't play enough. So, um, but the, they were the same thing. They're like the uh, remote control car. It's like RX, DX, or whatever it's called again. But um, the remote control car was still there, and uh, UAV, and the rockets. Uh, so, kill, kill streaks seemed normal. But um, the maps felt really good. Uh, they're deceptively 
um, misleading for the verticality and the uh, wall running on the walls. Like, there's a lot of places you can really take advantage of running on the walls and really flank your opponent, which is really good. Uh, the guns, the later on guns seem really good, the ones that I was picking up, compared to the beginning guns, but um, I really didn't find an overpowered gun. But um, overall, uh, the, the game left a really good impression for me, personally. Uh, it's still Call of Duty, though, at the end of the day, so if you're, if you're turned off from Call of Duty, this one's not going to be the savior of Call of Duty, and it's not going to be the... The, the massive game that everyone's gonna like creep towards. Uh, am I gonna pick it up on release day? Probably not. I don't. I don't think the game's. Uh, I don't. I don't think. Okay. Let me, let me just say. Uh, I had a. I. I really like the game. I think it's gonna be really good. I think zombies is gonna be really good. Also, uh, story is gonna be subpar like all Call of Duties. And I'm. I'm telling you, the specialist component really added a, a new flavor that actually made me want to keep playing. But, um, looking at the, the fall lineup for me personally, uh, th there's like Halo, if, you, if you're if you on Xbox One, there's Halo coming out, and then uh, for both systems, there's Battlefront, uh, Fallout 4, and Rainbow Six, some of these games that don't come around often or, or just being made from a uh, long hiatus are coming out, and they're all right there around Call of Duty Black Ops 3, so it, it makes it really a really hard recommendation for uh, any of you that are like 50-50 on the fence for this. Um, for Call of Duty enthusiasts, I definitely think uh, this this is the Call of Duty for you. But at the end of the day, for anyone wanting to make an informed decision, this is Call of Duty. Like right here, you can see that guy jumping up and down. Yup, you named it. He was trying to glitch into the wall just so he can just kill a bunch of people right there. So if, if you're looking for a new Call of Duty, this ain't the one. But if you're looking for a, a good Call of Duty, I, b I really do believe this Black Ops 3 is going to be one of the better Call of Duties out of the entire franchise um, uh, so overall I, I would think I, I would give it a great it was, I had a lot of fun in the beta and right here this is the Hulk smash it it's it's amazing so pretty much these last couple clips are just fails kind of me sucking and uh, like me, me wall jumping and showing you how not to do it like not be below the guy or behind someone <laughs> and uh, right here is the, uh, the other kill streak the Thor one it's 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 pretty good. like you're just a bunch of Marvel heroes now in the specialist. But um uh thank you all for watching my video. I hope I didn't rant too much and I hope I gave you any type of valuable information. But uh go ahead and leave a like on the video and please uh, if you do anything just leave a comment about anything. And right here is just the video of Sunday when I first downloaded the game. I think a lot of people were trying to play so it was laggy as hell and almost uh unplayable. But um yeah, so uh Thanks a lot for watching the video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and I I'll see y'all later.